This video provides a c -sharp script that changes the size of the map automatically based on the distance from the camera and real-world measurement. So if I change the camera position by changing to from 20 to 200, for example, you notice that the map scales uh, change and it include more size. And if I change that to say 800 and the scale will change as well, the video also show how to scale the map box map so that every one unit in unity uh, would be equal to one meter in real world. It calculates the map width and height in meters based on the size of a plane that fills and matches the game view in unity. Then translate the width and height to uh, the bounding box parameters of Mapbox uh, static image API to define the map borders using C sharp. The result is a map where each one unit in unity would equal one meter in real world. Uh, this is useful in applications with architectural and real life implication where the scale uh, to the real world matters. Mapbox offers a free tier for each product which allow you to use the ABI for free within limited requests per month. I uh, will leave a link in the description to the pricing and you could see, for example, we will use the static image ABI which allow 50,000 requests free per month. And so if you don't have an account, uh, you could uh, click on get started and enter your credentials and create an account. Once you created an account, log into your account and click create a token and give the token name and uh, click create token. And once that is done, you will need that token to uh, be able to make the request to the ABI later. So to start in Unity Editor, I'll create right click create 3D object of type plane and I'll just gonna call it map and leave the default settings. And then uh, I will go to the main camera so that we could uh, look from the top view at the map. Uh, I'll just change the, uh, the Z to be zero and the Y to be 20 and change the rotation of on the X to be 90 and on the Y so that we could look down from top view at the plane. Then in the assets, I'll create a new folder, we'll call it scripts and inside this folder I'll create a new C sharp script we'll call it map and once that script is created I'll just drag it into the new plane game object which is called map and just click on the map to make sure the script is there and then double click on the uh, script to open it in Visual Studio. The script file contains the following code and the description below contains a GitHub link to the full code that you can download and use. There will be a link in the description to a longer version of this video that goes into more details. Save the script and go back to Unity Editor. I'll select the map because the script is attached to it and going to the, our public variable you will see that the access token is empty and remember when we created an account and created a token now it's time to go to that uh, token copy it and paste it here so I'll just do that now. So I've pasted my token over here and so uh, now if I click uh, if I click play, you will notice that the map uh, is here now uh, and I could just change the aspect or the resolution to full HD to make it clearer. And then the user could change the center longitude and latitude to the place you desire. And you enter your access token here and you could later add uh, whether you want a satellite or uh, uh, you know any, any style of the map and the resolution. And now if I select the camera and try to zoom out, in other words, change the position Y to say 200. So you see that the map is became bigger and is scaled uh, accordingly. Uh, so the result of that, each unit in unity now equal to one meter 
of uh, in in the real world and whenever you um, uh, zoom in and zoom out the scale will change accordingly and the, the size of the map you will the, the more we zoom out move away the more map will be included with this scale still each unit in uh, unity would be one meter in real world so this is great for architectural or and other applications or games when it is really important to have a reference or to use the uh, the, the real world coordinates so yeah that's it thank you Please like, subscribe, and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.